Okay, cool. So thanks for watching. I'm Toby Goodman. Uh, this video series is for drummers who have some experience playing with bands, uh, love working with people to create uh, music that people love. Um, so if, if you're that person, this is also for you. If you're into loads of chops without real thought of musical purpose, this video definitely isn't for you. So you can stop it now. There's plenty of other places online you can see uh, guys showing you how to play really fast. So for everyone else, here's what's about to happen. Ultimately, I'm going to link the best timekeeping strategy with how to read and sight read and work out how to write charts as well. But first we need to talk about the concept of time from the most important perspective of all, which is uh, a musical one. So part one then, time. Uh, getting you there safely and on it. There you go, beautiful. Um, I'm sure you've heard loads of terms before and lots of teachers talk about the inner clock and playing the space, etc. But what does that all mean? Well, for me, Billy Ward, who's a, a great drummer, uh, explains it best in his DVD, Big Time. So uh, I'm, I'm not an avid collector of drum DVDs, but this is the one DVD without doubt that helped me to understand how to play better to the point where I flew over from London to New York and I had the most valuable lesson of my life. So after around eight years of digesting it, uh, that lesson and teaching on various diploma and degree courses myself, I'm aiming to number one, give drummers and any other musicians who are interested a clear understanding of how to keep and play better time and also later on demystify uh, reading and writing of music so there you go so play good time and read and write music and that guy if you don't know who he is is uh, Jeff Beccaro so you can google him he's good right so the five magic things when uh, that are going to happen when you apply this stuff. You're going to become a more valuable commodity uh, in the band or bands you play in. You're going to increase your ability to retain info. Uh, you're going to make it easy for you to sub or dep out work when you get really busy. Um, uh, you'll be able to give uh, will give you the tools that you need to take advantage of the chances you get uh, for filling in and depping for other pro drummers. And ultimately what that's going to do is improve your employability. So good times. So what's the big problem? Well, <laughs> there it is. Um, I come across loads of drummers and other musicians, especially the ones at institutions where they're taught in instrument specific groups like all the guitarists with guitarists, all the drummers with drummers, where these students are focusing on the wrong type of performance. In fact, what they're doing is they're thinking in a competitive way and concentrate on technical excellence, which of course is important, but there's not enough emphasis spent um, and time spent on context and musical context. So we're looking for solutions to that problem, right? So back to the problem. Well. Here's the race car, and I don't want you to be thinking like the guy in this car. Um, well, it's not cool because music's just not a sport. That's the main thing, and this is kind of a, a systemic problem uh, in certain places, and certainly just, I guess, just the way people are getting information over the internet. It's not, there's no quality control, right? So people are kind of falling down pit holes and, and not realizing that you know when they do kind of show all these people their stuff they don't really understand why people don't want to actually book them for a gig so let's be clear music isn't a sport and what I'm talking about now is time so let's get the time bit right first stay with me you with me good okay cool so you want to be able to give people a good time uh, and you'll do this if you stop thinking like the F1 driver in that photo and more like the guy or girl who drives this car for a living, right? So unlike the F1 car, there's plenty of room for passengers in this car and the driver is putting his passengers before his driving experience. 
Although I'm sure this driver is also the kind of person who takes great pride in his job, enjoys the experience. So are you following so far? In this situation, you're the driver and your band are the passengers. Cool? So let's start the car. Well, there you go. So if you follow this principle, you're gonna be able to create a groove that makes your bandmates feel like they're floating on air. This means they'll be ready to deliver their performance, trusting that you're navigating through the journey of the music, the arrangement with ease. So your job is to make your bandmates feel like they are royalty on stage or in the studio. So there she is. Right. So by doing this, you're making your band feel safe and secure and you're being trustworthy. Cool. So keep an eye and an ear out for what's going on with your other bandmates. Do not just look around all your gear. Uh, it's not cool. So be this guy, be the chauffeur. What's the result? Um, well, the result is the people in the band are gonna finish that song feeling great, feeling in control. And uh, if you look at this picture of um, these two royals, it's actually the driver in this picture, who's just up there by the Queen's face, sitting in the car, that these two very important stars or people, royalty, have put their trust in, right? If, uh, if the guy presses the accelerator right now, then uh, old um, Kate's got a bit of a problem on her hands. So you need to be the limo driver. Okay, cool. Or the helicopter pilot. Uh, anyway, I digress. So the main thing is <laughs> you're going to enable your band to feel like these guys. And now suddenly I've got the right queen when you sit behind them. Um, and what does that mean for you? Well, that means people will start to want you. Yeah, uh, sorry, wrong one. The phone will ring and you might even get special special messages from other musicians trying to book you. So. Hurrah. Right, so what that means for you is you get a full diary and you get the chance to choose who you work with. So back to the big problem. There it is again. <laughs> um, right. So just don't be competitive. Don't be this guy. Um, I'll deal with the unless they ask for it bit another time. But 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to be about being selfish and not selfish with time. So why? Well, because when you're selfish with time or over selfish and you don't pay attention to the flow of it or the importance of it, um, this is going to happen. People are going to feel sick. You're going to get the motion sickness. If your groove's all over the place and you're, you know, going out on some extravagant fills that don't quite land in the right place. So at best, you're going to make your band mates and maybe even audience feel sick. And you're going to put maybe even everything in danger, which is a bit poo. So, uh, remember it's not a race and you're not the only one in the car so I hope this is helping um, anyway the point is be the limo driver get people there on time there he is get people there on time not late and not early be nice to them make them feel loved and pretty soon they'll be raving about you to everyone and even asking you how much you want for working with them rather than telling you what the gig is worth. Great, cool. So uh, now you know what this is all about. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how, um, the how. So this, this lesson will be available online and will happen in a webinar with limited spaces that will also feature a Q&A session with me. If you want to be on it, just ping me an email and I'll send you the sign-in options. If you can't wait for that, I'm available for private lessons on Skype and in person, but really limited availability. So you'll need to book early to ensure that you get a slot. I uh, really do hope that you found this little collection of slides helpful and, uh, and my words, and I look forward to hearing from you all. To get in touch, you can find me over at 
www.tobygoodmanmusic.com and thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Cheers.